Okay. <laughs> Who am I? Too easy, right? Yes, I am Sherlock Holmes. I'm sure that most of you know that Sherlock is a fictional detective who was and remains immensely popular since he first appeared in print in 1887. He's appeared in four novels and 56 short stories that were written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Why am I telling you this? Because the tales, which are so popular and have been for so many years, are not really that different from your stories. And the popularity of his fictional stories illustrates the effectiveness of a good hook, a good narrative, and what could be clearer and more compelling ways of telling your stories. Now for me, most great stories begin something like this. Once upon a time. You see, every story you tell is a presentation. And every presentation you make should be a story. I'm going to give you the structure, a newer structure, to make your presentations more effective by making them more compelling, more understandable, and more memorable. Now, I don't expect you to you know, take all of this and change everything overnight. But if you just start to integrate some of these things into your newer presentations, I think you'll see a little bit of a shift. Most great stories start out like this. As I said, once upon a time, and in the case of Jack and the Beanstalk, it's once upon a time there was a poor starving widow and her son with nothing left but a few chickens and an equally starving cow. You have to get your audience to sit up and listen, and you have to tell your narrative in a way that others can relate to. Give them the information that's valuable to them. That's why they're in the audience. Because without the new discoveries, if there's no threat, like when the gi giant threatens to eat Jack, or if there's no betrayal, like when the harp gives him away, or no possibility that he can be captured, if there isn't some tension in your presentation, and if there's no relief, then nobody's going to listen. No self-respecting eight-year-old, six-year-old, and certainly neither will busy, distracted scientists or business people or anybody else. 